This lion's rescuers were sure she'd die. But when you see what saved her, your heart will melt. A jaunt-looking lioness tries to muster up enough strength to lamp up water as a caretaker sadly assesses her emaciated figure. When rescuers found the feline, she was at death's door. But sometimes, as her caretakers discovered, miracles can come from unexpected places. In 2009, the U.S. Department of Agriculture succeeded in saving a lioness, Sheila, who had been badly treated at an entertainment center in Texas. The establishment was found to be exploiting such animals at private events, and Sheila had been neglected almost to the point of death. Indeed, the USDA advised the InSync Exotics Wildlife Rescue and Educational Center in Wiley, Texas, which houses abandoned, abused, or unwelcome wildcats, that saving her could be a long shot. In fact, they said a merciful death was, sadly, her best option. This was because Sheila, who was not much older than a year when rescued, could scarcely eat, drink, or walk. She had very little muscle coordination, and thus, when she walked, her legs would slip out from under her, an in-sync statement said of her terrible condition. Unfortunately, Sheila's case was so bad that no sooner had she gotten to the center than the keepers assumed she was on her way out. The weary lioness was throwing up and pretty much immobile, but for the time being, her guardians persevered. For two weeks, I had to go in with Sheila and hand feed her, said InSync CEO Vicky Cahey. The lioness's head bobbed towards the right and had to be supported, so caretakers propped it up over a pail of water so she could drink from it. All too often, the exotic pet trade in the U.S. can be lethal for the animals involved. This is partly because they're frequently transported in inhumane ways, both furtively and illegally, to avoid detection. As a result, they rarely end up in the hands of keepers who can cater to their care requirements, much as in Sheila's case. A special big cat, Sheila has a unique coloration, which she gets from a dormant gene dubbed the color inhibitor or chinchilla gene. It's indigenous to a territory in South Africa called Timbavati. InSync found that Sheila was suffering from toxoplasmosis as well as a major lack of vitamin A. Toxoplasmosis is a parasite which can transfer through blood, and although it typically doesn't affect humans, it can be fatal in cats, even big ones like Sheila. Hence, the caretakers probably got the sick lioness on an antibiotic treatment, and soon Sheila began to get better. Yet, that's not the only thing that turned her life around. The lioness's amazing story continued even after she seemed to be on the mend. In fact, Sheila wasn't the only lion retrieved from the abusive entertainment center in Texas. Just before saving her, InSync had rescued a male lion who went by the kingly name of Khan. Prior to his rescue, Khan, who was then age six, was a show animal. He was carted off to special events to dazzle and amuse guests. Unsurprisingly then, when he arrived at the center, he was belligerent about food and had gnawed the end of his tail, apparently owing to anxiety. Clearly underfed, the male lion initially weighed 100 pounds less than he should have, as well as having endured several serious bone problems. Still, he got better and adapted. People at the center were impressed by how good-natured Khan was, despite his injuries and weak condition. Nevertheless, he still hobbles on his forelimbs, and yet he has a new incentive to pick up the pace. To help Khan more easily reach the height of his den, his guardians at the center built a new and improved set of cinder block stairs for him. And his new home has some other perks too. It wasn't long before the center's new lion cages were erected. Consequently, Khan and Sheila, who had been rescued at different times from the same dismal dwelling, became neighbors in this happy new abode. Then something both magical and romantic happened. Sheila spent the next few months showing off for Khan and Khan strutted his stuff for her, Kay said, clearly catching a whiff of attraction in the air. Love was indeed in the air, so Sheila had to be sterilized to prevent happy accidents. Next, the caretakers cautiously introduced the flirtatious pair by what they described as dates. And as with human courtship, this evolved into unchaperoned time together and overnights for the lovesick lions. After three months of dating, we let them get married, said InSync's Kehi. These days, Sheila and Khan share a blissful home, 
with the lioness ruling the roost and the lion making sure no other competitive big boy cats get too close to his bride. And surely, after all they've endured, they deserve their companionship and care. Who said true love only happens in the movie? Animal lover? Subscribe to our channel for all the latest in pet care and animal rescue. You can also visit our store where you'll find cheeky merch for cats and dog lovers, including fun and original t-shirt designs and many other accessories you will love. Our earnings will help support and rescue animals in need and make a difference in their welfare. For more information, visit www.pawsfashion.store. Thank you for being a part of our growing community and for caring about animals in their lives, especially at a time where they need you the most.